y'all, it's Shade Imore, your favorite expat with nomadic tendencies. Welcome back. Before I get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button so YouTube will share my videos, as well as tap that notification bell so you don't miss when I post. Let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to purchase the Jordan Pass. The first thing you want to do is go to the website www.jordanpass.jo. When you scroll down, it tells you why you should get the pass, so read over that and then click buy now. The website makes it easy, simple, and quick to purchase. They send you an email with the pass and PDF form to print and it has a QR code. Now it's time to fill in your information. First, you'll enter your name. You can use your first and last name. No middle name is needed. Then you'll enter your email. Re-enter the email just to make sure you put it in correctly. And then you want to use a telephone number where they can reach you if need be. A US number is fine. They will ask you your main purpose for visiting. We chose visit historical sites. It'll then ask you the type of accommodation that you have. We had hotel service apartment. It'll ask you how many nights you will be staying in Jordan. As long as you choose three or more, you're fine. Then it'll ask you the airline that you used. We didn't use an airline. We actually took a ferry to Jordan. So our response will be other. And then where it asks for the airline name, you would just type in A. It'll ask whether or not you're single or in a family or group, choose that. Then the month of your arrival. After that, it'll ask your ticket type, choose which one works best for you. And then you'll put how many tickets you need. There is an option to add baptism it is not a part of the Jordan Pass, but you can add it with the Jordan Pass at a 33% discount. I believe that is 8 JD. So you'll get a total right there. It won't be a surprise to you and you determine if that works for you. Now on this part right here, be very, very careful with the information that you put in because you do not want problems with immigration. Take your time. Check, check check and check again because trust me they will When you're done, hit proceed to payment. And then on this screen, take your time to verify that all of the information that you've entered is correct. It is imperative that you do this. You do not, I repeat, you do not want problems with immigration. You don't want one letter off, so take your time. When you're done, hit proceed to payment. At this point, everything's probably correct, but just check one final time before you enter in your banking information to purchase your ticket. Once you've purchased the ticket, they'll send you an email confirmation with the ticket and PDF form along with the QR code, so that way you'll be able to print it out and use that instead of your phone. Cause sometimes your phone glitches. This is a better way or a safer way to make sure everything works out. What is the Jordan Pass? It's a lifesaver. 
It allows you to enter over 40 attraction sites and waives your entry visa. It works by you showing your ticket at the entrance, letting them scan it, and then voila, that's it, you're in. Word to the wise, the pass is valid for 12 months. However, you only have two weeks from the first day that it's scanned to use it. There are three different packages to choose from. The first is the Jordan Wanderer. It allows you to enter Petra one time. The Jordan Explorer allows you to enter Petra two consecutive days. And the third is the Jordan Expert, which allows you to enter Petra three consecutive days. So that's the difference between these packages. They do have a cancellation policy. Make sure you read this. Do your part. Check and see if there are any holidays during the time that you'll be going so that way you will not lose your money. I hope that this video has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.